Hello lovelies, welcome back to Lifestyle Chapter. Today I'm going to share with you this easy and simple recipe. That is the peppered gizzard recipe that I'm dishing out here with my whole grain spaghetti. It is a very delicious recipe. Most people love it. And that is why I decided to share with you today. If you are new to this channel, I welcome you to the family. If you're already here, I'm always happy to have you back. And please subscribe, like, and share the videos. So lovelies, this is what I'm going to share with you. Stick with me to the end of the video. And I hope you enjoy watching. So here, I'm going to bring on my pot. You get your pot on fire and then you put in your chicken gizzard that is what i'm using you put in the chicken gizzard and then you add on some water to allow it to cook with it so after you add on your seasonings i'm going to add on two tablespoons of powdered onions to it and then to that, I'm going to add on some powdered ginger. And then I'm adding on some garlic powder. Here is when you put all the seasonings in there. And to that, I've added in the paprika. I'm adding in some cardamom powder as well and then I'll stir everything up nicely together so everything is going to cook nicely into the gizzard for you to get a taste that you want and to that I'm also seasoning it with some salt so here to the salt is to your preference and I'll stir everything up nicely together and I'll allow it to cook. Here I have the vegetables I'm going to make my sauce with ready. I have my bell peppers, the yellow and green bell peppers, some fresno peppers, onions and garlic, and some jalapeno peppers. So it all depends how much spicy you want it to be. If you don't want too much spicy or you don't want spicy, you don't add um the hot peppers to it so here i'm putting everything in my blender and then i'm adding on some olive oil to allow it to blend i'm not using water for this because i don't want it to take a longer time to cook and see how it is now going back to the gizzard it has cooked for a while for about 10 minutes but here it has to cook to your the preference of your tenderness how much you want it to be tender will be judged by you so i'll leave it on for it to cook because i want it to be a little bit softer so that when you're chewing it becomes nicer in your mouth like you're chewing a cartilage so coming back to it it looks all good now which means it stayed in for 15 to 20 minutes. Here I have another pot ready. And I've added in some oil in there, some olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice for this recipe. Here I'm going to put in the, I'm going to give the gizzard a shallow fry. I don't want it to be fully fried, but I don't want it to be um, looking like it's just cooked. So, I remember who actually check a crab, I person who to check a crab, not a man yet. So, I'll put it in the oil and then stir it, continue to stir it whilst it's frying for about five minutes, five to eight minutes. And then I'll take it off the pan into a bowl. This way, it makes the the seasoning stick on the gizzard and it makes it super delicious. So I have my pot empty. I'm going to pour in the 
blended ingredients in there. You make sure you lower your fire from high to medium so it doesn't get burnt at the bottom because it doesn't have any water in there so it will easily cook up and then you leave it on to cook for about eight to ten minutes you come back to it and then you stir it up nicely you can see the oils resurfacing at the top of it you stir it nicely to prevent the bottom from getting bent and then you add in your gizzard you stir it up nicely to make sure everything is incorporated well in the in the sauce And then you add on some of the stock of the gizzard. I'm adding in two ladles of um, the gizzard stock to it to give the sauce flavor for it to taste great. So I've added a ladle of the stock to it and stirring everything up nicely together. And I'll add the second ladle to it here. This is going to make the sauce very delicious. So you make sure you don't throw away your stock when you finish cooking it. Because that's where all the seasonings are. That is where all the juiciness are. So you don't want to throw away the juiciness. You want everything incorporated in your, in your sauce. And you leave it on to cook for about three minutes coming back to it this is how it's looking beautiful and smelling so great so here you have if you have some vegetables you can just cut some vegetables and give and add it to it to give it more attractiveness and flavor so i'm adding on some chopped onions, some orange um, bell peppers, and some scallions and green, pep uh, green onions. And this is going to give it more flavor. It is going to make it juicy and more tasty. So you wouldn't want it to be too, too soft in it. So you just allow it to cook for about two to three minutes. And then back to it. Look how beautiful this pepper gizzard is looking. And it's ready to be served. Thank you so much, lovelies, for watching. I hope this recipe inspired you and it will allow you to try it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.